What's going on, America? This is Kevin from Kevin's Corner, where I try to make sense out of nonsense. And you know what doesn't make sense to me? How AOC, Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, I guess that's how you pronounce it, goes from being a preppy-sounding New York girl to a Southern Baptist preacher all at once. Now, if this isn't the granddaddy of all pandering, I mean, tell me what is. I mean, Hillary was bad with the hot sauce. She was bad when she hit the black church with the eyes don't see nothing wrong. But Alexandra Cortez in front of an all black audience decides to just go ahead and start preaching. I thought she was going to break out the collar and everything, you know, little preacher's collar. Yeah, it sounded like she was a Pentecostal preacher. Uh, see, I don't see nothing wrong with being a bartender. I thought for a second she was going to be like, come on, somebody. Come on now. I just don't see nothing wrong with driving a bus. And ain't nothing wrong. Since when did she start using ain't nothing wrong? You know, and and, and and you could tell she probably was in the mirror practicing that. Probably watched a couple videos of some church services, black church services. Yeah, a little think tank. Maybe her people was like, all right, Alexandria. You know, they don't quite pronounce the words right. And they do use ain't. They're the ones that made us have to put ain't in the dictionary because it wasn't a word at first. But the black people kept using it so much that, you know, we just said, hands up. Here it is. We're just going to put the thing in the dictionary, okay? So you might want to use a lot of ink in your, you know, your, your dialect, and, and, and you want to drag it out. I don't see nothing wrong. See? See, see how they do it? Now you try. I don't see nothing wrong. No, no. See, you're not doing it enough. You got to drag it. I don't see nothing wrong with driving. Do it. Now try it again. And of course, she practiced it. I mean, totally sound different from the Alexandria Cortez that went into a, a meltdown while she was uh, putting together her Ikea furniture talking about all the mistakes she made and she's young she's able to make those mistakes as a senator you know i mean she she had the valley girl accent almost i mean i don't understand why everybody's this and all of a sudden she's like ha, and, God's there. and if you don't know now you know the democrats is coming back all of that stuff and i'm going who is that up there and where's the real aoc what have y'all done with her who sent y'all because that's not the AOC I know and don't love. So, once again, it shows black people that they're not serious about us. They don't take us serious enough. They think they can pull something fast over us, like promising us reparations. Every single one of them that spoke got up there right after the other one. Yeah, well, I believe in reparations. I'll sign whatever you want me to sign if you guys just vote for me. And it's sad because the next one tries to outdo the one before them. Well, he said he signed reparations. I'll give you my first two or three born children. That's what you want. We don't care. We just want to get back in power in our office. And it's disgusting. And the sad part about that is why she was doing that. I hear people in the audience. Yeah. Hey, man. Mm, go ahead, sister. And I'm going, don't don't encourage that. Don't encourage that type of behavior because it's not genuine. I want to see her get up uh, in Congress and talk like that. When she's whining about the Green Deal, you know, in 12 years, I want her to be like, in 12 years, the earth's going to end now, and we got to do something right now. I say it right now. Turn to your neighbor and tell him right now. That's what I want to see her do from now on, because if she doesn't do that, then it becomes obvious that she was pandering towards us. And we all know that she was pandering towards us. <sighs> when are they going to respect our intelligence that's what i want to know well they're not going to do it until y'all other minorities black people whoever push back i would have stood up and walked out right there or i'd have been like excuse me excuse me right in the middle of her speech do you always talk like that even when you're like at the dinner table or you're around your friends or your parents do you kind of drag your syllables out like that and get into that preaching rhythm see okay or are you acting yeah and i think you will find it's the second one she was acting Shame on Alexandria. It couldn't get worse, you know, but she did it. She got worse. For a minute, I said, you know, she can't do worse than what she's already doing. And then she comes out with that. Good grief. Good, good, like, see, here's a black term. Good googly moo. Good googly moo. That's all I can say. Anyway, um, find me every Wednesday night, 7.30 live on YouTube and every Wednesday. And also my radio blog talk show every Wednesday, same time. Don't forget to hit like, share, subscribe, and the notification button. And I'm going out tonight rocking my sponsor, uh, their gear. They sent me extreme tees. Bang, bang, bang. Yeah, do a little salsa dancing. 
with my stream t-shirts on okay so if you like the products go in check it out the link is below click on it and um if you put my name in a promo code kevin you'll get a 20 percent discount and also um if you want to donate to kevin's corner there's a link in the bottom to do that as well and we'll see you next time in kevin's corner and find me on facebook and twitter the twitter all right see you soon god bless God bless. I'm about to go out and do some salsa, but I won't be voting for them nasty, dirty, crooked Democrats. I say I rebuke you, Democrats. Anyway, God bless.